Hi, I'm Gwendolyn Woods. And I'm Fifi Clanton. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Krabby Shack. Shack. My father is from the Chesapeake Bay area, and so every time he'd go down and visit home, he would come back up to New York with a bushel of crabs. The family would all get together and spend the whole day cracking blue crab. DC area is more beer, Old Bay. In Philly, they steam it and then they douse it with garlic butter and then just sprinkle Old Bay. So our take on crabs is we basically cook the crabs in beer and then drizzle it with the garlic butter and then we sprinkle it with Old Bay. So it's a combination, but we put our own flavor to it. So now it's Brooklyn. <laughs> That's right. So this is our Alaskan snow crab platter. You know, this is something that takes a little bit of time. Most people save this big guy for last. That's the claw. I'll get to that. But this is by far my favorite part of the crab. This is called the marisk. And to me, it's the sweetest, it's the most fun, it's the most plump. Oh, you gotta eat that part first and you break off at the knuckles. Okay, and the knuckles here again and you pull out that cartilage and then you put your fingertips in the center. You feel the middle, and you don't crack all the way because you don't want to break it, and then you want to be able to just pull that out like that. When this happens, you, send, you don't want to let a little piece of meat go to waste because you just don't want to do that. And this little guy, a lot of people throw it away, like I said. I don't, because that's meat right there. I'm going to remove the legs. The meat in the body is a little softer. You don't need the crab cracker for this part at all. It's super soft. You literally just you open it up and just peel the meat off. Just make a little pile and then get some butter. Okay, and then it's empty. I mean, you, you don't want to have any meat in there because even if you do like this. Mm, that's juicy crab meat. Did you ready for the big guy? All right, so this one, we are going to definitely crack at the joints. Okay. So you do that, you crack it, you wanna sort of take the cartilage out, and then when you open, this, this part doesn't often come out like a perfect piece of meat. People get together and eat crab, and they have a beer, and they're talking, your hands are dirty, and you feel like you wanna kinda hang out. Whenever I eat crabs here at my store, I actually eat them right here so that I can talk to everybody. Fifi came up to me and said that she wanted to open a crab restaurant. And we both were ready to do something different. I call her in the middle of the night. Are you serious? Do you really want to do this? She's like, absolutely. Six months later, we opened up the Krabby Shack. To hear other women say, I want to try something and you guys inspire me. I can't believe, you know, at 40 with kids and, you know, we literally just left our careers, which we were very successful in. We took the bet and said, you know what? We're gonna bet on ourselves. We were determined to work for ourselves and build our Krabby Shack empire. And that's what excites me about it, to know that our future is just in front of us and we're about to go get it.